senior officers are deployed on the ground even our adg ig they are deployed on the ground in bisnupur and in jiribam we also caution in fact one that the miscreants please do not try to interfere in landard suspected kuki militants they attacked nung chabi village under jiribam district in which one senior citizen named urembam kulendra singa 63 years old he got killed process of purchasing more anti drone systems rogue drone guns the anti drone guns in simply to say today though we yet to get full detail just to clear some kind of rumors in the um, public we are giving this facts that today early morning suspected kuki militants they attacked nung chabi village under jiribam district in which one senior citizen named urembam kulendra singa 63 years old he got killed while the armed miscreants taking advantage of the early morning and continuing their firing and forwarding near rasidpur village the village volunteers of the village also confronted there was a exchange of firing upon hearing this news immediately sp jiribam with his strong team have rushed to the spot even they were also came under fire they have also fired back retaliated very strongly and after some time the firing got controlled the situation brought under control there was a report of one Baspati Mayum Lakhi Kumar Sharma 41 year old of Dibong Kunao Jiribam he got killed and later while searching in the general area where the firing took place there are three dead bodies of the miscreants are found the details of the exact miscreants are yet to be ascertained due to these last few days frequent incidents state police is reviewing the security situation and deployment very closely with the help of other forces now the senior officers are deployed on the ground even our adg ig they are deployed on the ground in bisnupur and in jiribam and in imphal due to the the rogue drones which have created the recent attack in the september 1 a very good anti drone system is deployed that is in action state police is in the process of purchasing more anti drone systems and rogue ro drone sorry rogue drone guns that anti drone guns in simply to say there is a army chopper that is doing the patrolling we have deployed additional forces in some vulnerable areas there is a deployment of sophisticated arms and that is under training and in the process of purchase also to counter the long range attacks we have activated our social media monitoring cell particularly to check the instigators of violence in the social media we have found that there are some instigators who don't come on the ground per se but they instigate the people they play with the emotions of the public from both the sides and make the public into mob to go for arms loot or to create a lawlessness we are identifying such instigators in the social media 
in fact from the police area we are warning such instigators will be identified and uh, under relevant sections they will be booked if necessary strict actions even to the level of booking them under scheduled acts and handing over them to central agencies will also be taken up the combing operations in both sides hill and valley is intensified particularly focusing on particularly the long range rocket from where the rocket was fired and also the drones where it was noticed to more in these locations combing operations are intensified we will be covering minimum of 3 to 5 km focusing on these areas the nakas are being strengthened and it will be a combined nakas to ensure that the forces are not kind of compromised taking advantage of this um, press briefing i also want to inform that our state police is analyzing the recent attacks that which has took place through drones and through long range rockets we are in the process of purchasing anti drone system and also anti drone guns it will be deployed very soon there are some already deployed and we are going to purchase and deploy more and state police also monitoring the investigation of this recent attacks we are checking the crimes committed that attracts under the scheduled acts for transferring of this some sensitive cases because these are very new and very sensitive to central agencies <coughs> last i on behalf of our state police request appeal to general public that please cooperate with police security forces to maintain the law and order in fact please don't fall prey as the in social media do not believe in whatever comes in social media if anything coming up you can contact us we will clarify through our social media monitoring cell also in our press briefing we also caution in fact warn that the miscreants please do not try to interfere in law and order we respect sentiments of everyone here all the policemen are son of soils we also feel the same thing and do not take us as a enemies we are here to protect we are one and together in manipur